Hey guys. So it is officially now nine weeks post gastric bypass. I did the Ruin Y on February 26th, 2019. I am very happy to say that I am coming at you this week um, in a much more timely fa fashion. Um, I'm so sorry again about last week. It, it literally just got away from me. Um, so I also forgot last week to go over measurements. So I'll be talking about that. I'll be giving you guys some updates on my foot because I finally went to um, the podiatrist and figured out um, at least a couple things. Um, I don't have all the answers just yet, but hopefully we're on the right track. Um, and then we'll kind of just talk about food and um, progress so far. So um, let's start with stats. So um, I am Sam, I'm 32 years old. I am five, three and three quarters. Um, my heaviest weight was 241. I went in on surgery day at 225. And I am super excited to say that I am officially in Wonderland um, at 198.2. Um, it feels really good to be at that weight. Um, I know I've said this before, but anyone who's ever, ever you know been over 200 or over 300, like when you get into that next category, um, it really sucks. <laughs> and the last time I made it, you know, down to 148 pounds uh, when I was doing my show, you know, I promised myself I would never get over 200 pounds again. And then I got pregnant and there was definitely a point in my pregnancy where I was just like, fuck it. And then all of a sudden you're over 200 again. And it kind of feels like once you're over that hump, it just kind of comes on even faster. Um, so I am very, very confident when I say that I will not be over 200 pounds ever again. Never, never, never. Um, I'm kind of, you know, with this, with this surgery, it's, it's really changed my entire mindset on just food. Um, I was so restricted before, you know, I've tried every diet over the sun. I've tried or under the sun. Um, I've tried Weight Watchers. I've tried paleo, keto, um, you know, high carb, low carb, pretty much anything you can think of. I've probably tried it in my adult life. Um, and the one thing in common with all of those, all of those diets is they're not sustainable. Um, so that's my goal throughout this entire process is, you know, yes, I'm staying under 50 grams of carbs a day, um, but that's mostly because my stomach can't handle more than 50 grams of carbs per day. Um, I know that, you know, a year or two out of surgery, um, I'll be able to eat more carbs um, because my stomach will be able to fit them. However, I am totally comfortable under under 50 grams. I feel like I'm getting carbs. Like I can eat a slice of bread if I want. If I want some toast in the morning, I'll eat it. If I want a wrap, I'll eat it. If I want some, you know, veggie straws um, to get that little crunchy, you know, salty fix. If I want to put some peanut butter on some Ritz crackers, I do it. Um, so I'm trying to be much more balanced in terms of um, each category. You know, I don't need to be crazy high in fats. I don't need to be crazy high in carbs. Um, and I'm most definitely not crazy high in terms of calories. So when my calories do increase, you know, however many years outside of surgery and, you know, whatever I decide to do with my dietitian, then of course my carb intake and my fat intake will increase as well as a result. But for now, I'm still, you know, in that 800, 880, you know, range. And so staying under 50 grams of carbs is, is a comfortable range. And I think a good ratio of the three, you know, protein, fats, and carbs. So, you know, this time, like I said, I, I'm trying to really do things differently and become more balanced across the board um, in every category and not just saying like, oh, I, I can't have that or, 
you know, I, I'm not eating that right now. Um, I haven't had any like crazy high sugar items like, you know, ice cream or froyo or anything like that, cake. Um, and mostly because I don't know how my body's going to react and I don't want to be stuck in the bathroom for the rest of the day if I do try those things. Um, but I'm sure, you know, going on vacation, we have a few trips planned this summer. Um, you know, I'll try something here and there. Um, but for now, you know, I feel very satisfied in terms of what I'm eating, which is the first time I could say that while losing weight. Um, and having more of a balance, I think really does and has helped me out a ton. So that's what I would recommend, you know, whether you are, you know, embarking on this surgery or if you're just trying to lose weight in general, I would say, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Um, and by, you know, doing a fad diet of any sort, unless you have like celiac or something, um, don't cut out an entire food group altogether um, because it's not sustainable. And then that's when we yo-yo because we feel so restricted, we can't eat things, and then we go and we want to, um, we want to, you know, splurge. So yeah, I would definitely say um, I, I feel very satisfied and, and happy in kind of what I've been um, eating. And so that feels really good. Um, in terms of measurements, so month over month, I am um, 12 and a half inches down. So from surgery, I am 29 inches down. And that is super, super exciting. Um, so from surgery, I am 27 pounds down. And then overall, I am 43 pounds down. I do wish I would have taken measurements at my heaviest. I did not do that, um, so that's kind of a bummer, but that's all right. I mean, I'll take the, the 29 inches since, you know, since surgery, so um, that's really exciting. Um, other than that, so non-scale victories this week, um, I'm definitely getting stronger in the gym and that feels wonderful. I feel really, really good, um, in terms of, you know, lifting and, um, kind of getting that rhythm back. So that has felt great. Um, and getting compliments, you know, people that I hadn't seen in a while. Um, we had a work event and a couple people, you know, were like, wow, you look really great. Um, and that felt really good, you know, when people start to notice that, you know, you're you're working hard and, you know, you're putting in <laughs> the effort. So that was cool. So those are kind of non-scale victories. Um, when it comes to water, I have actually been doing really well with water this week. So I wanted to show you guys, I have this Hydro Flask. Um, it's 40 ounces and um, my goal you know, for a while there, I had my little 26 ounce, you know, bottle and the goal was two a day and then three a day. Um, and now I have progressed to this guy and the goal is two of these a day. Um, if I work out, then I use my smaller water bar water bottle um, with my BCAAs in them. Um, and so I'll try and drink one of those and then, you know, I get through like maybe one and a half of these. Um, so that's been really good. I'm feeling nice and hydrated. Um, so I think, you know, that's a big one. Drink your water. Um, cause that definitely helps with feeling more, you know, energetic throughout the day. Um, I have also continued drinking coffee. So I've been doing mostly the, um, you know, shot of espresso with my premier protein. Um, the vanilla tastes really good and... I really like it <laughs> so don't you know don't bro don't fix what's not broken um, and you know that does it does wear off in terms of you know sustaining you throughout the day and so if I work later in the day then I'll try and make um, like eggs and turkey bacon that's kind of my go-to um, but if you know I'm going to the gym in the morning if I'm working super early 
that's perfect because I'm, I don't have time, you know, to sit there and make a whole meal and I'm, I'm rushing usually, you know, cause I'm, you know, trying to eat in the car or, you know, eat while I'm getting ready for the morning. And, um, that's just a little more difficult to, to multitask, especially when you have a toddler running around. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the premiere has been great for, for morning, um, kind of a mid morning snack. I like almonds. Um, I get the salt and vinegar almonds. Those are really good. Um, lunches have kind of ranged. Um, I've done, um, I know we did tacos one day. I had salad and leftover ribs one day. Um, I bought these chicken meatballs from Costco and those were really good. I had some of those one day. Um, and then generally if, if I am hungry in the afternoon before I go home, um, those um, pitos that I was talking to you guys about, I can link them down below. Um, I found them at Fred Meyer um, of all places and those are really great. They kind of like, they're supposed to emulate Cheetos, um, but the, you know, the carb and the sugar in them is so much better, um, so much lower than actual Cheetos and also sodium. There's not nearly as much sodium. Um, so those are kind of a, a nice snack or, you know, like I said, the veggie straws, those are kind of a go-to for me. Um, I'm very much a, you know, crunchy, salty um, type of person. And then dinners have kind of ranged, um, excuse me. Dinners have ranged, what do we have this week? We've had shrimp a couple times. My mother-in-law made chicken wings um, a couple times in the air fryer. Those were really good. Um, oh, we went out to eat the other night and I actually got these tri-tip sliders and they were perfect. Um, so I ate two of them. One, I had no bun, I just ate the filling. And then the other one, I had a couple bites of the bun um, and that was really good. Those were like perfect, you know, for me. Um, yeah, so it's been kind of a variety of, of different things. Oh, I tried those um, real good pizzas. OMG, so freaking good. I really liked those. In terms of like a pizza alternative, you know, I've done a ton of different Type. So like the fathead dough, I've tried cauliflower crust, I've tried lots of different things and the, um, I think it's called Cali flour crust. Those were good. Um, I, I want to try those again because I tried it pretty early after surgery and it didn't quite feel all that great. Could have also been that I ate salami um, for the first time and on it and that did not feel good <laughs> the next morning. So um, I wanna try that one again, but the real good ones, um, you know, half the pizza was a perfect serving for me. Um, I think half a pizza was like two and a half, maybe like 2.7 ounces, and that was perfect. It was a really good um, high protein kind of pizza alternative to get rid of the craving, but um, have a healthier, you know, Low, lower carb, lower calorie choice. Um, I also bought the enchiladas by them. Um, so I'm kind of excited to try those. I was thinking about doing that maybe tonight. Um, so we shall see. I've been trying, you know, to venture out into a couple, you know, different things. Um, I think, oh, my foot. So um, my foot, I had the doctor's appointment um, with the podiatrist on Friday and you know he's doing the exam asking me questions um, they decided to test me for arthritis um, because I do have sometimes some pain in my shoulders and also my knee so they did that they took x-rays and then because um, you know when you're post-op um, I, I don't know if the sleeve has this rule but gastric bypass they said no anti-inflammatory so no ibuprofen, no Advil, um, nothing like that. And so he said my only other option was a cortisone shot. <laughs> so um, that was not fun. I've never had one before. 
Um, I hope I don't have to have another one um, because he said you can have up to three and uh, it hurt really bad. The second day after, so Saturday, my foot actually felt really good. A lot of the pain had subsided, but then on Sunday, yeah, it was Sunday, I woke up and as soon as I walked, you know, to the bathroom, I was like, dang, it's, it, I feel the pain again. And now like the pain's back. So the swelling has gone down on the top of my foot, but not underneath on the ball of my foot, it's still swollen. So we'll see, I have an appointment um, in two weeks as a follow-up. So I'm gonna take in the orthotics that I got made a long time ago um, when I was having ankle issues um, and show them those. And then hopefully we'll have my arthritis and my x-ray results and we'll be able to see um, if it's, you know, either a broken bone or, which I don't think it's a broken bone, or if I do have arthritis, or if it is the Morton's neuroma, so the nerve that's just getting pinched. Um, and because I've hit my out-of-pocket maximum and my deductible for the year, um, if surgery is sort of on the table, and if that ends up being the only thing that can fix it, because that's kind of what I've seen, you know, when I researched Morton's neuroma, then I'm gonna do surgery. Um, it sounds like it's a pretty quick thing and you know I might have like a little scooter or you know a boot or something but I'm so sorry I don't know why I'm yawning so much Whew. um so I'll I mean I think I'd be able to get back to work pretty you know pretty quickly it sounds like the the downtime isn't too crazy so um I just want to be able to run um I have some goals and I know I haven't really talked about you know what my goals are um but I, I really had to like think about it for a while like obviously the first like stretch goal is I want to lose 100 pounds from my heaviest so 141 I think for 5'3 I mean if I look at like the BMI you know suggested weight it's anywhere from 1 like 15 to 145 or 40 yeah so I think, you know, at minimum, 141 should be a comfortable weight, um, especially with, you know, the muscle mass that I'm hoping to, you know, maintain. Um, I want to be toned. I don't necessarily need to be as muscular as I was when I did my bodybuilding show, but um, I definitely want to be toned and not just like skinny or like skinny fat. Um, so that's sort of my, my stretch goal. but. I was really thinking about it and um, how, how many years, it was probably almost like nine or 10 years ago now, but I attempted a half marathon and um, I, I got sick middle of you know the marathon. I kind of overdid it in the beginning. I think your endorphins are just running. And so then I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. Like I want to stop. And they were handing out the energy gummies and I tried one and I don't know if it's because I hadn't eaten it. I tried something new on race day, which they say don't ever do. And I ended up throwing up um, and cramping really bad. And so I had to stop and that was a pretty humiliating experience, especially because the friend that I was doing it with was not so nice to me about stopping and, and quitting when I was already beating myself up. Um, so definitely want to um, complete a half marathon and now that I've been swimming again um, I want to do a half Ironman I'm not sure I could ever do a full Ironman but um, a half Ironman I, I definitely think I would be able to accomplish um, you know I have my bike but we need to get both of our bikes serviced um, and this isn't anything like this year that I'm going to do. This is probably going to be like after baby number two, um, you know, continue to work towards that goal. Um, but before I'm 40, I want to do a half Ironman. So I have eight years <laughs> to train and figure it out. Um, so yeah, those are kind of some, you know, fitness related, weight related goals. Um, and then I think I said this early on, but, um, I'm really, really, really trying to become a better cook. 
Um, I am not a cook. I am not a fan of cooking. I would much rather clean than cook. Um, but my son loves to watch you in the kitchen. And, you know, I think about, you know, my husband's such a good cook and, you know, where did he learn that? His parents owned a restaurant. And so I think, um, you know, being able to become a better cook and try new recipes and get creative in the kitchen, um, that's another goal of mine. So, yeah, so that's kind of a, you know, a recap. So, um, super excited with, you know, both the inches, um, you know, progress and the scale progress and just feeling overall better. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of funny. I was telling someone the other day that, you know, before I started training for my bodybuilding competition, I remember I was 196 pounds and I was two sizes larger than I am now at 198. Um, so I need to dig up those pictures and I'm pretty sure I took measurements in the beginning um, of that as well. So I just wanted to kind of compare. So I'll do a little research there and then let you guys know um, the comparison because our bodies change so much. And, you know, I didn't think I held on to as much muscle mass as I did, but um, I think I did because, you know, the scale's the same, but I'm, I'm much smaller, um, which is exciting. So yeah, that's kind of it for week nine. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and it is gorgeous and sunny here. So we are gonna get outside um, this week, go to the park, move, um, get some extra cardio in and I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.